Hi, I'm Adam from Audio Obsessions, and I'm here to demonstrate my new Blue Iris NVR camera driver for Control 4. This camera driver will allow you to publish all of the cameras you have in your Blue Iris NVR to work within the Control 4 environment. It will publish all of those cameras to every navigator interface that Control 4 supports in OS 2.5.3 and newer. And let's get started. If I'm on my iPhone, and I go to security and I go to cameras. I have two instances of the driver published, one for my basement camera, one for my front yard camera. So here I am on my front yard camera and uh, the Blue Iris server will give you the images in all formats and all sizes which makes it very fast, very quick across all user interfaces. It's also very fluid when you look at motion. Um, so here we're looking at the front door and one of the other cool things that I wanted to be able to offer people was a way to interface with what they're looking at. So that's really where my driver goes above and beyond most camera drivers that people have used. So if I wanted to let somebody in, I would want to unlock that front door. In the normal Control 4 uh, experience, you would go back to the home, you'd go to security, you would go to locks and sensors, and you would unlock the, uh, the front door there. All the while, you would lose your view of what's actually happening at the front door. So to make that a little bit easier, I enabled the ability for this driver to do an overlay. And when it's overlaid, you can then put in a code. And when you put in a code, it can unlock the door, give you active feedback that the door is unlocked, even keep some feedback on the bottom left there of what the door did last, while the other feedback can go away. If I wanted to lock the door, I don't want to enter a code, I just want to hit the button. So I go ahead and, and tap where the door lock is, and there I get the immediate feedback. The door is locked down at the bottom. My locked icon stays there. If I want to change, because this is a pan tilt camera, so if I want to change to preset 4 and I want to toggle that light on and off, all I need to do is set up a location trigger for that light and I can tap that light and the light will turn on or I can tap that light and the light will turn off. A little tough to see in that image, but if you look close it was working there. Um, and if I just want pan and tilt to work as normal, I basically use a double tap action for my pan and tilt. That allows you to do uh, single tap actions for location, double tap actions for, for pan and tilt, and they can coexist. So that's kind of a quick overview of how the driver software works. We're hoping that everybody can come up with some good examples of how they make it work for them. Uh, please check out our, our House Logix driver, and uh, please support us and leave us feedback. Thank you.